Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to chat to you about my favorite farmhouse finds from Ikea. So I recently went on a shopping trip to the Ikea store at Elizabeth in New Jersey. Um, it was my first time going to an Ikea store while or since living in America. And I've got to say it was huge. Ikea, it might surprise you, is a great place to find budget um, farmhouse decor items for your home. So if you're interested in hearing about my favorite picks for the farmhouse style from Ikea, then keep on watching. I picked up quite a few items during my shopping trip to Ikea. Um, I also found quite a few others that I didn't pick up either because it was out of stock or um, it's just not something I had the space for in my own home. But if you want to see all of my picks and things I haven't mentioned in this video, head on over to my blog. Um, it is kirstymorris.com and I'm going to do a full blog post there um, with all my finds and recommendations for farmhouse pieces from Ikea. So if you're interested, head on over there and check it out. I'm also going to put all the names of these across the screen because I am terrible at pronouncing the names of Ikea products. Um, they're pretty challenging. Uh, so I'll put across the screen everything, the title of everything. So the first items I, want, I picked up are the Wrought Kitchen Spoons. Uh, they are a dollar 79 each so very budget friendly and also really well made and really handy to have in the kitchen you can never have enough wooden spoons the next item i picked up is the soccer art vase it's actually like a jug it's white uh, it comes in two different sizes like a small and a large i picked up the small vase um, and it was nine dollars 99 Next up is the Soccer Greenhouse. Uh, this is a little cute mini greenhouse. It's made out of like, white metal and glass. And I actually have this in my kitchen and I'm working on growing some herbs in it at the moment. It's such a nice little accent for the kitchen. Uh, you could use this in many places throughout your home. And it's really nice placed in front of a window where it gets lots of light and you could easily um, do a, an arrangement of faux florals in here, treat it a little bit like a terrarium. That would be really cute as well. But this uh, greenhouse was $19.99. I also have this galvanized metal watering can. I'm actually still debating whether I'm gonna use this to actually water my plants or if I'm going to use it to actually put a plant in, so plant a plant in it of some kind. Um, I also think that would be a really cute use for it. You could also use this as a vase inside your home for some faux or real florals. That would be really cute as well. And the watering can was $5.99. Something else that IKEA does really well, which I think is a little known fact, are cushion inserts. Uh, they do the uh, feather and down kind, and they also do the, um, the artificial down um, versions as well. I picked up two different sizes while I was there to fit some cushion covers that I picked up. I got the 26 by 26 square um, European size cushion inserts. I also picked up a rectangular shaped one which was 26 by 16 inches also in the feather and down filling. So the 26 by 26 inch European size was $9.99 and the 26 by 16 rectangular size one was $6.99. I also picked up this really adorable duvet cover set. Duvet covers, especially when you have a king bed, can get very expensive, especially if you want uh, natural fiber items. Um, so I picked this one up. It is in an off white color and again, it's king size. It is 100% cotton. I will say that the thread count is a kind of low on it. I think it's somewhere around um, 300 thread count. Um, don't quote me on that. 
uh, but it is really soft and I've noticed the more I'm washing it, um, I've had it for a few weeks now, the more I'm washing it, uh, the softer it's getting. And this setting for the king size was only $49.99. So I thought that was such a great bargain and I love how it looks on our bed. And then I've accessorized the bed with the with cushions and two different cushion covers. So on my Europeans, I have this uh, gray cushion cover and it's got a gray and sort of um, ivory ticking stripe insert on the opening and look really great on the bed. I love the dimension they add. Um, the fabric is really nice and textured and I think it's gonna wash um, and soften really nicely as well. So these are called the Ursula and they were $14 each. So I had a pair of the Ursulas on the bed and then I've also got uh, one uh, rectangular cushion cover. Um, it's in a white color and it has this gorgeous um, pin tucked um, detail in the middle of the cushion. Again, it's made out of the same fabric as the European cushion covers and it was $10. I also picked up two packs of the Ellie dish towels. These are quite a popular choice, but they are white and blue and they come in different sort of geometric patterns, mainly stripes. Um, and these wash up so well. I will point out that they shrink quite a lot. Because I had two packs, I sort of compared them. I washed one set and didn't wash the other set and compared them and they actually shrink by a couple of inches but they're dish towels so it's not a big deal they get wet they'll shrink it's fine they're still plenty big enough to work with these are such a great bargain and they look really cute in the kitchen and i even um one pack i actually use um to give uh hostess gifts to people so i use them to wrap baked goods and things like that in and they look really cute. Um, if you guys are interested in a sort of video on how to wrap um, up a present or baked goods as a hotel gift in a tea towel, let me know because that is something I could show you. It's super simple and they are $3.99 for a pack of four so you can't beat that. And then finally are these planters. They are a white metal. They're 12 inch pots and they have this um, really adorable ridge pattern around the top and the bottom. I love these. I picked up two of them um, and they were $12.99 each. And I've actually had my husband drill um, a couple of drainage holes in the bottom. And I'm using them outside. You could totally use them inside as well. And I've planted two big shrubs of lavender in them. And I'm going to put these on my front porch. And I really love how it turned out. The white um, of the pot makes whatever plant you put in them really pop and stand out. So those are all the farmhouse finds I have from Ikea for you today. Everything I picked up anyway. If you want to see all the other finds that I have, there are quite a few more. Head on over to my blog and check it out. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video, which is once a week. Thanks for watching everybody and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.